Let's start with Intellin. Intellin is the Fitbit of diabetes apps. It is an incredibly comprehensive tracking tool for monitoring a huge range of different variables that matter to diabetics. Things like blood sugar, the last time you gave yourself insulin, blood pressure, height, weight, physical activities, a whole host of different things that it tracks. Some of those things like serum triglyceride level or systolic blood pressure are probably going to need you to sit down with a GP who can interpret that and draw that information out for you. But by and large, this can be completely patient-led. Once you've recorded all of your information there, you can go into the reports side of the app where you can see your trends over a week, a month, a year. And then the most valuable bit is you can go to the priority section of the app. Now what the priority section does is it draws all the information from the tracking that you've done to highlight your highest risk areas as a diabetic. Is it your foot care that's a risk? Your cardiovascular health? Perhaps your eyes? Taking all that into account, it flags the high risk areas, explains that risk, and then offers tailored advice to the patient. After that, patients can go to the tips section of the app where they will find a huge library of information categorised by area of the body affected. Now, all of this information is referenced. There's an awful lot of it there. And I must be honest, at times it felt a little bit cluttered. There wasn't a great deal of structure to the information there. And sometimes the tips didn't go as deep as I would have liked them to. For instance, one of the tips was to start counting your carbs, but there wasn't any information on how you'd start doing this. There is also a clinician's dashboard, which allows doctors to see all of their diabetic patients at once and to deep dive into individual patients' results in order to see what their diabetic management is like. The overview it gives you is far clearer than anything we've got at the moment in general practice. But at the moment, the app doesn't sync in or integrate with current NHS patient records, which means you can't pull blood results from EMIS or you, and you can't send reports back into System 1 or Vision. That could be a barrier for some people. The app and dashboard are going live soon in the CCG in the Northwest, I'm told. And this company is quite involved in clinical trials. And there's currently a trial ongoing looking to see whether the app changes the way patients interact with self-referral diabetic foot services. So I think there's a lot of potential here. In summary though, this is a great tracking tool for your diabetics. I think in the months to come as they hone that tip section, we're gonna get some really detailed, personalized information targeted to what that patient's needs are. And the dashboard is a very clear way to see how your diabetics are managing over time.